What's up everyone? I recorded this video on June 8th, 2022. It's Wednesday and it's 4.30 p.m. It's 84 Fahrenheit, 29 Celsius. And I'm here in Brickell, often synonymous with the city's financial district because there's a lot of financial institutions here. And I'm going to walk Brickell Avenue all the way to downtown Miami. I'm starting off at Southeast 15th Road. Here we can see the uh, first of the major financial institutions in the area, this being uh, JP Morgan Chase. The glass being reflected off this building is actually uh, very warm on my face right now. That's pretty common with all the uh, glass skyscrapers. But the Brickell neighborhood of Miami is named after one of the co-founders of Miami, that being William Brickell and his wife Mary Brickell, and the other one being Julia Tuttle. Those are the co-founders of Miami. They uh, gave a portion of their land to Henry Flagler to build the East Coast Railway. Along Brickell Avenue is where you'll see most of the big banks. Here we've got Joe and the Juice, as well as a sculpture of what seems to be a big-footed person doing a handstand. It's made by artist Idan Zareski La Nina. La Nina is young, petulant, exuberant, and free. Here's another look at the J.P. Morgan Chase uh, Tower. This building over here belongs to Citizens Bank. And the one next to it is the Four Seasons Hotel. This is a five-star hotel. And I'm sure it's high in demand with all the banks around here. I'm looking up the rates at this hotel right now. And for tonight, it costs $509. That's the uh, least expensive room in this hotel. Looks like it's also home to HSBC, which is short for the Hong Kong and Shanghai Banking Corporation. There's also a uh, Metro Mover stop here Actually, it's only a block away from us called the Financial District. And it's very fitting, as you see around us. There's also an Equinox Gym in this building. Bank United. And over to our right is the building for Santander, the Spanish bank. 
complete with the Spanish flag here as well. Another look from the front. There's the Metro Mover Station. It's the last stop on the Metro Mover or the first stop. Pacific National Bank building over here on the corner. This big building over here is a hotel. The Hotel AKA. I guess they need all these hotels here for all the uh, people who work down here. This is over here is a four-star hotel and the rate for tonight is $349. And if you go down there, one block over to the east, you have Brickle Bay, uh, Brickle Bay Drive which is home to a lot of high-rise skyscrapers and condos. Looks like Wells Fargo is also in this building inside the hotel, AKA, or the uh, Brickle Arch, it says. Wonder why they call it Brickle Arch. Is there an actual arch in here? Pretty sure there's another bank in this building. I like the design of this one. The glass kind of comes out a little bit and it's in sections. Yep, look at that. Banco Popular. I think it's another Spanish bank.
Well, that there's a bank in this building, the Colonnade Plaza. Reminds me of uh, Greek columns on this building, but it's home to a CVS pharmacy. Maybe this used to be a bank. I wouldn't be surprised. Now this building over here is home to the JW Marriott. It's a high-end hotel. Love the fountain they have in front. Looks like over here is TD Bank, short for Toronto Dominion from Canada. And uh, we have a building here for FIU, Florida International University. Looks like this might be combined into the FIU building. Both the TD Bank and uh, First Horizon over here, which I believe is another bank. I might have seen the name uh, once before. So they label this as the Panorama Tower and I didn't really see this from the front but from the back you can really see it as being the tallest building in Miami but it won't be for too long because on the construction are a bunch of projects which are uh, going to be taller than this one yep first horizon is a bank I see ATM in the front Here's the panorama tower, the uh, side entrance. And that doesn't even happen every day. That's just, you Looks like there's also a bank in this building, Helm Bank. And this is a uh, first bank. And on the side is also Key International, which sounds like another bank as well.
curious what these touch screens have. Do they show the locations of all the banks here? Let's see, uh, get around. Does it scroll? Yeah, it kind of does. It tells you where all the bus stops are and the city bike stations. It's pretty convenient. It's Sushi Siam, Japanese and Thai restaurant, but looks like it's no longer here anymore. The doors and the windows are all covered up in brown paper. A lot of great cafes and restaurants around here too. There's an organic store next to a coffee shop and also a bank, the International Finance Bank. This is the, uh, one of the main cross streets in Brickell, 8th Street. If I were to turn over there and go a few blocks to the west, I'll hit a uh, shopping mall and uh, complex called the Brickell City Center. Wait. Wait. It's also one of the few uh, streets in Miami that have a four-way crossing. They all turn green at the same time for pedestrians. So I believe this building over here is the Bank of America building. Yes, it is. The name's right at the top. But uh, this is the last major bank in Brickell before I cross over the bridge. And uh, there's one last bank across the uh, Miami River in downtown Miami in, uh, at Wells Fargo. This entrance, you gotta be super careful. There's cars going in and out all the time. I'm 
Merrill Lynch is attached to the Bank of America Tower. It's part of Bank of America. This building over here is one of the oldest churches in Miami, the Key Point Christian Academy. And that's the name of the, uh, the school. But the official name of this church is the First Miami Presbyterian Church. There's also uh, numerous food trucks here that come on a daily basis. If you go down there into the church parking lot, You'll see them. On the first floor across the street is a Citibank branch. And if you go over to the right here, there's a park here called Mary Brickle Park. And it's also home to a uh, Native American artifact called the Miami Circle. They don't really know what that circle um, was supposed to represent, but it was discovered here and it's a uh, it's an archaeological site that you can go and visit. This building over here is the Icon Brickle building. Actually it's a series of buildings. I believe there's uh, four different towers. The tower uh, closest to the street is the uh, W Hotel in Miami. And then there's a north tower and a south tower. And I believe the last tower is a uh, combo hotel and residence. But the building over here is really meant to uh, inspire thought and create a discussion with all the columns uh, representing the faces from Easter Island. There's also two well-known restaurants in there, one being the Cantina La Vente, a Mexican restaurant, and the other one being the Cipriani, which is a uh, luxury Italian restaurant. So now I'm crossing over the, um, the Brickle Avenue Bridge over the Miami River. The Miami River separates Brickell from downtown Miami. Yeah. If we look over to the right, just before we cross the river, we'll be able to see the Miami Circle. There it is, covered with the railings. And also the rear side of the Icon Brickle Complex.
This building on the construction is the Aston Martin Tower. It's completely sold out and it's not even finished constructing yet. Here's a statue of a Tequesta Native American. These uh, Native Americans used to populate the area. So look at the Miami River. You'll often see like super yachts here and people driving their boats. And the other side. This building next to me is the Epic Hotel. I guess they're doing some construction on the Epic that they need the scaffolding up. up at the Wells Fargo Center. This is not a very friendly pedestrian crossing. I wouldn't go, there's a motorcycle coming. So Strahd is letting us cross, so maybe they have a red light. All right, everyone. I think I'll wrap up my video here. Hope you enjoyed this walking tour of Miami's financial district, starting from JP Morgan Chase and Brickle and walking all the way to downtown Miami at the Wells Fargo Center. But if you enjoyed it, smash the like button, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you later. Bye-bye everyone, see you later.